Well, Tucci, I'm actually on the lookout for feral goats. But first, there is something else that has caught my attention. And yes, it is highly venomous. Hey, oi, wait, come around. Oi, oi, come around, come around. Is King Brown, just a small one though. Now these little guys, they're one of the most dangerous snakes in Australia. Well, come on, up here. Up here, up here. Georgie! Woo! Look at you, mate. Now this guy here is known as the King. Settle, settle, settle. He's known as the King Brown, but they often call him the Mol, the Molga. And the reason is these Molgas. They live out here in Mulga country. And a bite from a snake like this out here, so remote, you'd be stuffed. You'd be a goner. It's a problem with some of the farmers because they do get bitten out here. You might as well sit on a rock and have a cigarette because that's the last thing you're going to be smoking. Wow, well, but these guys, honestly, they get a whole lot larger than this. And we've just been coming up through here looking for some feral goats. And up along the way, there's plenty of tin lifting up all this tin. See, the funny thing is the snakes, they love the tin. They hide under it, because that's where they get a lot of their warmth. And I just saw him just on the edge here of the seat. He must have just been sunbaking, got that nice sun which is coming in through here. And I just saw him come in through there and bang, onto you straight away. Right mate, I'll give you a bit of a release, what do you reckon, eh? Yeah, chi chi. Alright, I'll put you back in the air. Alright mate, you know what? Take off. Woo! Alright, let's go find some goats. Looking for feral goats, it's always easier in the early morning or late afternoon. That way, when you're chasing them down, you don't overheat in the scorching sun. Well, out here in the outback of Australia, I've always got to keep very, very alert. So you've always got to be looking around. Particularly when I'm out here looking for feral goats, I'm always looking out into the distance out in front. There's plenty of them out here, it's hard. But I'm going to try and catch a large billy goat for you. Now the billy goats, well, they're the males, right? Big horns on them. They can be a little bit aggressive, but they're pretty fast as well. And it's funny, I've just had to, well, you can see what the terrain does to your shoes. Out here with all the sticks and wire and barbed wire and who knows whatever snags are out here. I had to tape up my shoes uh, just so they're not like bloody sandals. Yeah, I guess um, it's one of the hardships out here. Not only shit air cup, but shit shoes as well. But um, what we'll keep doing is we'll keep going through this terrain. We'll see how many goats we can catch. We can get there, get up a bit low. You know what I mean? Get down a little low and just stay with me, yeah? There's that small, small ones, but what I'll do is I'll start running through. I don't want to catch any of the small ones, but I want to get that big black, that big black one. I want to get him out. So what's happened is there's a small mob, but over the other side, there's a big black billy goat. I'll run down. I can easily run down one of these ones. That's not a problem. The big billy goat, though, that's the here's the challenge. Is what I'm after. So what I'll do is I'll get you from up here. Just do like a pan shot, or even do like a zoom in, zoom out as I'm chasing. They're not going to be too hard, they're going to be slow. I don't know if I can get one on foot easy. Okay, ready? Alright, Chuchi, take note. It's always easier to run down a larger specimen of the same species as opposed to an average sized one. The larger the animal means that its energy requirements are also higher. 
Part of the process of this energy use is also the manufacturing of lactic acid within the muscle tissue. Directly, this will start to cause the animal's ability to coordinate and maintain a constant speed pattern over time to decrease significantly, meaning that if your energy requirements are lower, simply chuchi, you're gonna run him down. Settle, 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 let me get a breath, let me get a breath, see how exhausted I get, okay, now running down feral goats, it's all about an energy game, now I'm breathing hard, but you can hear me here, you can hear, he's breathing louder than me, he's more exhausted, and the first sign of that is, as soon as I ran him down, he stopped once. He saw me cutting him, coming. He took off again, he stopped again. For third time, lucky, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna run you down. Finally caught up to him and pulled him down. And you can see, this response here is typical for any animal which is exhausted. The first thing that they do is they hit the deck. Like so, recuperation, back, hit the deck and breathe. And breathe. Don't worry, man, I need to breathe. I need to breathe too. Now, feral goats, Feral goats in Australia, they're bad. They're not good. They're causing all sorts of damage out here on the plains, particularly in Western Queensland and in Western New South Wales. Feral goats, they're spreading all sorts of weeds throughout this terrain. They eat all the native vegetation and they compete with the native Australian wildlife. It's one of the biggest concerns here in Australia. And I'll tell you what, mate, you had me on foot and sometimes and sometimes, to catch a feral, well mate, you gotta be a little bit feral yourself, I guess, eh? What do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, shit.